Before I begin, I ended up having so many unexpected happenings one after another. From crashing my drone into a tree, getting pulled over by police two times in a row, and not having a right tool to cook. It happens all the time. Stay tuned to see all the happenings that could have been way worse otherwise. January 1st, 2021. Our first episode comes in place as soon as our journey begins. I was using a flashlight on my iPhone before we departed because it was too dark and placed the phone on the rooftop. After 10 minutes of driving, I happened to look at my iWatch and saw the disconnection sign. We made the words fast as you turn and we saw a light glowing in the middle of a four-way intersection. <sighs> Luckily, the phone was working just fine. We finally got our fit off to 15 freeway. It was completely dark. And we saw an object that was approaching our car at a gradually increasing speed. We were going over 80 miles per hour. The objects were getting closer at a faster rate. And literally at the very last second before the impact, we realized there were at least three cars in complete stop with no lights. We grabbed our steering wheel, turned with full force to avoid the accident. Thankfully, there was no car coming behind us. So we kept driving with a big relief. Good things about being an early bird, no car, less travel time, yet another problem happened as we were passing by Las Vegas. The car was making this weird, little scary, um, annoying sound. Well, first of all, we didn't want to risk continuing this journey with this car with an engine light on, ending up being isolated in the middle of valleys. Nor, we couldn't spend hours waiting for our car to be fixed at an auto shop. We decided to stop by the McCarran Airport. <laughs> After spending about an hour plus, we got ourselves a Hyundai Kona. We brought our Mini to the closest authorized Mini shop, but there was nobody because it was a holiday on the New Year's. Out of nowhere, a gentleman in a Mini Cooper shirt in a Mini Cooper car drove into the shop. Long story short, we had to park, drop the keys, come back the next day for pickup. After struggling for hours and our schedule getting way backed up at Vegas, we finally started heading off to our first destination. We were driving non-stop for a couple hours until we got our first speeding ticket. Apparently the speed limit was 65 miles per hour. Police said I was going 85 miles per hour, but he got us away with 9 plus miles. <laughs> By the way, this ticket came out to be $150. Yet, our journey continued. And we finally arrived at the famous Horseshoe Bend. The sun was going down already and we didn't get to spend much time here. But the views were simply amazing. Oh, 
<laughs> it was getting darker. We called it a day and started heading off to our hotel. We quickly checked in. Eight. And my friend brought some homemade pork ribs. Earlier, I told him that I would bring the portable stove and a pan to cook them. Of course, I didn't bring one. Kitchen was closed. The microwave was too far from our room. We were just being lazy. Then we found this clothing iron in our closet. Pork ribs cooked out of iron plus beer were just a perfect match. Yet weren't enough to fulfill our appetite. Well, we had a quick jacuzzi and sauna and headed off to a market and pizza hut to grab ourselves two full toppings large pizza. These were the best pizzas we ever tasted in our life so far. Our day one ended here. We actually have a lot crazier day ahead of us, so please stay tuned for tomorrow's adventure.